Now let me move over to our always smiley Esid. We are representing the central region and wow. <laughs> you, you most of the time spoke about education. You wanted to see your region, I mean, the, the young people in your region well educated. Of course, your region is a hub of some of the best schools in the country. I mean, yeah, yeah. We can't take that away from you. But what have you also been working on? Because I know your project is around education and making sure that the kids read, they are well educated and all of that. What have you been up to, darling? Okay, so first of all, it feels amazing to be here. I believe that Ghana's Most Beautiful is a network source for all of us. And so I am happy that I, am, I get to be a part of these amazing 15 ladies. And so it's good to be here. And like you said, I'm very passionate about education. And of course, the central region is the hub of education. It, just, it doesn't just have some of the best schools. When you talk about the best schools, it's all about the central you region. You are still in the GMB mood and, you know, <laughs> yeah, hype your region, hype it. <laughs> it's all about the central region. And even the late Kofi Annan uh, mentioned that education is the premise of progress in every society and in every family. So, of course, as a people, we need education. And I am very particular about the the children in the central region because over the time we uh, they have been marginalized because uh, when it comes to our private sectors a lot of attention is given to them of course it's private so it's expected what about our public schools and we are teaching our children in the primary schools to go into our SHS schools and also the universities and so we cannot just boast about the fact that we have best senior high schools and universities so we have to let lift the younger ones up so that they, you know, get to all of those positions. And one thing, not I have realized, but it's a fact that uh, many a times our schools in the central region sees only people from outside central region coming. And so I want to, you know, help our younger people. What can we do to help them? And so as the SDG Go 4 says, education should be made accessible. Mm -hmm. And so education should be made equal. All of these children have an equal right. They should have an equal opportunity. And so what do I seek to do? I have put together a thought that I have named Young and Ready, because I believe that children are always ready to learn. What matters is the environment that we offer them. And so what environment are we offering them? We are offering to them an environment that will awaken their creativity and learning. And so all Young and Ready seeks to do is to put together every resources. It can come in book, it can come in kind, it can come in everything that will help the child you know, focus in the classrooms. Of course, you can come to class classrooms with the torn shorts, you know, all of that. It takes the attention away from the classroom. But if they come to the classrooms, they are properly dressed. They have all their mind on the books and the teacher. Then I believe that our world with our children will be a better place. And so that's what Young and Ready seeks to do. And I launched it in May. Okay. And hey, this year? Yes, oh. please, this year. Okay. Uh, of course, it's been an amazing journey, putting together ideas. Of course, it's not solely from me. I have a team I'm working with, and I'm happy that my queens here are a part of my team. Of course, we need to judge our ideas. And so they came on board. They came all the way to the central region, hmm. exactly, to help in the launching of the project. And so far, we've had some donations. It came in books. Some came in kind. And so just as Taya and Aiko said, funding is not easy. Easy. And so we are pleading to people who are watching, benevolent individuals. It's very important that we support. We cannot do it on our own. Mm -hmm. Of course, we need a lending uh, and a helping hand. And so definitely, that's what I've been up to. Wow. Huh. Honestly, we are so proud of you all. 